I started a poll on the community section of YouTube and this is where it stands. Some people love the DW291H and others hate it. I would like to know the reason because I'm curious. Please let me know in the comment section as to why you like it or hate it and I will include that as an input in my review video that I will do in a few weeks from now. Today is just the unboxing. Namaste everybody. It's time to unbox the swatch and let's get the party started. DW291H is priced at Rs. 3595 on the Casio India website and $42.95 on the Casio US website. But I picked this up for Rs. 2876 on Swiss Time House. Pretty sweet deal. The link is in the description. Please check it out. Some people don't find this DW291H good looking and don't care for it which is the same feeling they have about its daddy, the DW290 from the 1990s. There are others who find it beautiful and rugged at the same time. I don't know what I feel yet, I just got the watch. Maybe I'm devoid of feelings, I don't know. Let's not go there. Let's take a look at the watch in detail. The complete model name of this watch is DW291H9AVDF. This has a gold tint on the LCD. When you hold the watch in your hand, you can feel its sturdiness and also it has a bit of a heft. It looks like the bezel has been screwed down and these are not fake screws which means you can remove the bezel and replace with a different colored bezel to try different color combinations with the black case. The buttons protrude quite a bit from the case but they are guarded. The buttons are at an angle just like with G-Shocks and they feel convenient to operate. The glass is mineral crystal. I have read people call this as a G-Shock killer. They are wrong. G-Shocks have their buttons recessed and won't make contact with a flat surface when dropped. As with most Casio watches, you will find the features printed on the watch. This has an illuminator. Let's check it out. It's an LED that lights up the screen pretty well. It has a 10-year battery life which is always a pro with any watch. On the top, you have a window for date, day and month. Below this is a tiny strip that indicates the passing of 10 seconds. To the right is a tiny circular window that is a digitized version of the analog clock showing current time. 
Then we have the main window that displays current time along with indication at the bottom for alarm, hourly chime and whether the keys are muted or beeping. Then there is an indication that this can be a diver's watch with 200 meter water resistance. This is the first time I'm seeing HD mentioned on the face of a watch. It stands for heavy duty. I need to figure out what HD actually means in the coming weeks. It doesn't necessarily mean shockproof because it has exposed buttons. The DW291H also comes in other color variants, but I personally have a thing for gold tinted LCDs. Let's quickly check the functions of DW291H. This is the main timekeeping mode. Press the mode button once, it will take you to the world time. Press it again, it takes you to the alarm mode. It has five alarms. Takes you to the timer mode. Another press will take you to the stopwatch. Press it again, it will take you back to the timekeeping mode. This watch also has world time, but it's not written on the face of the watch because I guess they ran out of space for more text. The watch also has five alarms. The DW291H has a standard resin strap. The DW291H sits snug on the wrist and has quite a presence owing to its peculiar design. At first glance, it might come across as a G-Shock because of the size and the build. Here is how I will sum up the DW291H based on just a few minutes of owning it. This is a watch that looks like a G-Shock but not quite because it isn't shockproof considering the exposed buttons and has the same functions as the AE1200H Casio Royale but with 200 meter water resistance like with G-Shocks. Like with all the other watches, I will experience this watch for a month try it out in different settings and then I will drop a detailed review with the pros and cons. Till then, stay tuned and stay classy.